Hello, in this tutorial I'm just going to show you how to make a very basic animated pie chart in Adobe After Effects. So if I press play to show you the finished result, you'll see how the pie chart animates like so. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to create a new composition. So I'm just going to call this pie chart tutorial. You can choose the preset, I'm going to choose HDTV 1920 by 1080 otherwise known as standard HD and my composition is going to be 10 seconds long with a plain white background. So I'll click OK. The first thing I want to do is to draw a round circle. Up at the top if I hold down the rectangle tool and select the ellipse tool I can draw an ellipse or a circle. I'm just holding down shift to constrain the proportions so it's nice and even and now using the selection tool I'll move that until it's roughly central. There we go. Now you can choose your fill colour up here and you can choose your stroke colour. So the stroke is basically the border on that. So let me choose a different colour. I'll make that black. There we go. So the next thing I want to do is to just rename this layer to a more easy to remember or easy to identify name. So I'm going to right click and rename that yellow. I'm now going to duplicate this layer. So with that layer selected I'm going to go to either edit duplicate or you can use the shortcut on the keyboard command D. That's now been duplicated so I'm going to go back up to the fill and I'm going to choose a different colour for the next part of my pie chart. I'm going to make this section red. I'm going to rename this layer to red. I'll repeat the process for as many times as you want segments on your pie chart. I'm just going to do three for now. So I've pressed command D to duplicate. And I'm going to change the fill colour of this one to let's go for a sort of light blue. There we go. And let's rename that accordingly. There we go. So all we're going to do to basically move each part is we reveal the layers beneath using a transition. So under the effects and presets tab over here, I'm going to go down to transition and I'm going to choose radial wipe. If I drag and drop radial wipe onto each layer, well, just those two, the blue and the red, we'll have the settings under effects controls for the radial wipe. Now the thing we're mainly going to use is the transition completion but I'm also going to use the start angle for the next layer. So what this does, if I drag this transition completion with the left mouse button from left to right, you can see how it completes the transition. So it's literally just a transition from the blue layer onto the red layer. So if I play the video by pressing space until about one second in, so I'm holding the complete blue circle up until one second, you want to click on this stopwatch icon up here, which means you're going to animate that. So what it says is at one second, the transition completion is 0%. Now scroll to one second and 15 frames. And if I just expand this layer by selecting on it and press U to look at the keyframes, there's my starting point. I'm going to press this diamond icon to add another keyframe. And I would say at this point, I want the transition to be Let's go for 25% complete. If you want to get an exact number in there, you can just click once and type it in. Notice, as I'm putting in my transition completion amount there, it's the same figure as up here. So I can change this number up here to 10%, and it'll change the number down here. It's exactly the same. It's two places to change the same variable. So I'll change that back to 25%. So if I just play that section of the animation, it holds it for one second, and the transition is 25% complete. What I want to do now is reveal the next colour. So I'm going to hold that for a further second. So let's scroll to 2 seconds and 15 frames. I'm going to add another keyframe down here. At the same time, I'm going to click on my red layer and toggle animation start. What I also want to do, I want to start this transition angle from 90 degrees. Because as you can see, this will start wiping from this point on. So if I press U to reveal all of my keyframes, you'll see it starts at 0%. Now if I scroll through to half a second in, there we go, and I make this 25% complete, you'll notice that nothing has apparently changed. 
and that's because the red layer is still underneath that blue layer. So what I want to do is at the same time as this transition taking place, I want to advance this transition by another 25%. Like so. So what's happening here is this blue layer is transitioning by another 25% up to 50%, and the layer beneath is opening up by 25% to reveal the very bottom layer, which is the yellow layer. So let's play that. There we go. Now I feel that looks a little bit smoother because at the moment it looks quite mechanical as those numbers change. You can change the sort of velocity of each of those. If I just select all of those keyframes and then right click, go to keyframe assistant, go to easy ease, what that'll do, it'll just make the transition slightly smoother. So if I go back to keyframe assistant, easy ease. Now if I play that, you'll see it kind of speeds up and slows down subtly as it goes in and out of each of those movements. There we go, that looks a little bit better. Let's play that from the start. There we go. 